Hello, Herman here with another video in the ClearPass workshop series where we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with wired, wireless Active Directory and much more. So this is the first video in the guest section for this workshop. So what we will be building in this section is uh, ClearPass self-registration for guests. And um, yeah, we will be deploying that in this uh, environment. And uh, in order to do that, uh, we will uh, need to do three major steps. So first we need to configure the registration portal page on ClearPass. Then on ClearPass, we need to create the necessary services so we can do guest uh, login and also Mac caching. So when uh, people return back to the network, they will be uh, allowed automatically because they have authenticated before. And the thir third step will be uh, Aruba instant where we need to configure it to uh, make it all work together. Um, Maybe easy for you is to know how this uh, more or less works. So when a guest comes onto the network, it will be placed into a role which does a redirect to the ClearPass server. So to the uh, registration page on ClearPass. There uh, the user can register, uh, generate an account, then uh, log in with that account. And uh, when the uh, login is done via the web login, uh, the client will be redirected. It will post its credentials to the Aruba Instant AP that will do a radius authentication in the backend to ClearPass. And then uh, when everything is authenticated, the user will be uh, placed into a guest role to the network. We'll see this uh, more in detail later on. So this is where we stand with our ClearPass deployment. We have created our uh, admin services. Uh, we have wireless access. We have uh, wired access. And uh, yeah, in this video, we will be creating the guest captive portal. In order to do that, we need to go to the guest section of ClearPass. Um, so we go here to the dashboard and here we see a link ClearPass guest, which is uh, one of the easiest ways to get into the guest section. Um, if you want to go directly there, um, if you type instead of tips, the URL slash guest here, you will get here immediately. Um, another thing before you start doing guest, make sure you have your certificates, your HPS certificate installed correctly. So you are secure on the name. Otherwise, uh, guests will get uh, all kinds of certificate warnings and you don't uh, want to have that. So for the guest self registration, we go here to the configuration page and we go into the pages. So uh, we go into guest self registrations and here we can create a, uh, yeah, a page for us. So we will give the page uh, a proper name. So make it uh, workshop guest self registration, self registration page for workshop guests and this is the name of the page so it will be called under this name so make it uh, workshop registration so let's go on here and uh, save and continue we will brought into the next step and this is where we can uh, check a skin so um, yeah for now oh let's pick the galleria skin because that's a nice graphical skin. So we'll pick the uh, Gallerina skin for now. Um, we have a lot of options here like advertising, uh, CNA, Captive Network Assistant, which is the automatic pop-up on Apple devices. If you're connecting to a page with a captive portal, then it automatically pops up. And yeah, obviously we want to allow it in uh, this case for uh, the most convenience. Uh, we can set here um, from where the page is uh, accessible and not uh, maybe on specific times. So we'll leave that default. Here we have the registration page UI. Um, let's leave that default for now as well. Uh, the receipt page UI, um, we'll leave that um, as well. And uh, what we can do here is uh, we can see how people can get their credentials. So maybe it's nice to uh, display a link where people can uh, get their credentials via SMS. So I think that's, uh, yeah, I think that's nice. 
let's go uh, and continue then here uh, sponsorship will be not be using sponsorship for now sponsorship is an option where when a guest requests an account an email will be sent to a sponsor in the organization who can allow uh, guest access and then here we are for the login step um, we are using uh, aruba networks aruba instant uh, equipment um, and this is something that we need to change so this is where in the end the uh, credentials will be posted this will be the url that the instant ap is listening on and that's the same one which we have a certificate for let me see we do have a certificate for this name so let's um put that in um but basically uh the name here must match the name on the certificate that you imported into the aruba instant access point in the third one for guests uh, we will be importing the certificate in the instant ap there you will see how that uh works so and what we can do here is uh put a default url so let's put here in aruba networks.com for example so then here yeah here we can uh enable the guest logon so um we'll keep this uh the same self service uh yeah let's leave it on uh just uh, continue so here we see a graphical representation of the user getting in uh on the registration page then uh when it's submitted the user will be created in the user database uh, a receipt page will be displayed and there will be an option to log in to the network um yeah which is the uh, captive portal login uh, that we just uh, configured one thing more here in the form this is where we can ask what people uh, need to enter so by default um yeah you, we, they will need to enter their name email address um and what we uh, will ask as well here so we go into the visitor phone and enable the field so people need to enter their uh, phone number and that's needed if we want to send out an sms or text message uh, for that uh, specific user so let's get back to the self-registration uh, page and uh, yeah, for now for this uh, edition let's see if it works so launch the guest self-registration page so i can put in my name i can put in my phone number and i can put my in my email address and i must accept the terms of use then uh, what we see here is that the guest account is uh, created and it's yeah, automatically created for uh, one day um, and uh, if we now return into clearpass here in the guest section and can check here uh, manage accounts what we can see is that uh, indeed the account um, was created here and if we go into uh, show details we can see the information that we all uh, put in so i can see my guest name i can put in can see the uh, phone number that i entered so all the information is available there so this looks good um let's go in the next video uh into the clearpass policy manager we will be generating all the services that are needed to uh, bind this uh, together and then in a third video we will configure the aruba instant access point and then finally we can uh, make guests connect to the network i hope you like this video uh, if so please put your comments below this video and if you subscribe to the channel you will be the first to know when new videos are posted so uh, when a new video comes out you will be notified and you will be the first to view thanks for watching now and hope to see you in the next video